it's Lambo here. It's time to party. I, I want to welcome you guys to the show. If you're new around here, hit that subscribe button. Would love to have you coming around. And also, slap that like button. Come on, guys. We've been getting a little shy on the likes here. Let me know you're really enjoying this. And combat the people that are disliking it to make my videos not go anywhere. I don't really care. I'm doing this because I enjoy helping people. But uh, that I keep getting... How do I tint windows? And for reals, uh, there might be an official way to do it, but this is the way that I do it. So I have this selected right here. I have the window, and I'm just using this truck, the basic in-game truck as an example. So I'd select the window inside Giants Editor, and this is assuming that you kind of know how to open Giants Editor, find the window, and then we're going to open up the materials panel right over here on the right-hand side. And you can see that this window is assigned an, an albedo, or like a diffused, and it's clear. Um, there might be a little bit, of, little bit on there, but we can go to here, and what was the name of it? The, it's one of these. It was window diffuse PNG. So this is going to open up our data folder inside our FS19. You do not want to edit the files in here. You can copy them out. Uh, so let's find this window here. It's going to be window diffused. Window diffused right there. There is a window diffused too as well. And a specular. Pretty neat, huh? Okay. So we're going to open this up. Copy it, and then let's go to, uh, let's just throw this on the desktop for a minute. We're going to paste it to the desktop, and then we're going to open it up with paint.net. Okay. He needs the paint.net. It's free download. Freeze the downloads. Okay. This is the basics of how we're going to tint it. Um, so if you wanted to add some tint, now that you got paint.net open up here, we're going to go to layers, create a new layer here, and that's what it's going to do. It's we're going to overlay onto it. Click the black, click on here, and then we're going to click on layer, and we're going to go to opacity here. We're going to lower that down quite a bit, like right there. Okay, and then we'll hit save. Save it as a DDS. Window diffused. Want to replace it? Yes. Okay. Flatten it all down, whatever you got to do. Okay, now let's go to here. Let's click on it. And let's see the change it makes when I go like this. See how I tinted it? Now those windows are tinted. Uh, this is just a basic truck mod. I'll probably give out this truck. I just threw, like, the old Ranch King bumper on it. So it looked a little different. You guys probably recognize that if you've been modding a little while or been playing some of my mods up roof rack. Um, I'll probably just release this truck because it's just a basic in-game truck with a little bit of upgraded engine and some some parts. Do a little screenshot here for the people. Boom. How about that? All right, well, that's how you tint it, guys. Uh, there's also a couple other ways that you could do it. They do have a tint in there already, so let's click on... Uh, where's the glass at? Right there, the glass. If you go into... The data folder. So you got your farming sim. This is inside your Steam farming sim 19 data. And then we will go to shared. In shared is going to have a bunch of different glasses and all kinds of different stuff. There should be a dark one down here. I thought there was. You can make up a dark one. But this is where your specular and all that stuff are going to be hiding the original, and you don't want to edit these ones. Like I said, you copy and paste them to a different to your mod, and then you can go from there. They have different. Uh, so let's get get close enough so we can look at the specular map here. Okay, so it's using that. It's got a, you can kind of see a little bit of deterioration right here uh, to give it the streaks like what's got like what it's got. Um, yeah, they didn't, it's the exact same one, okay. 
but there's a bunch of uh, different stuff in here. Chains, cube dots, I mean, all kinds of different maps you can use for your mods. Window diffuse, window specular. Let's try that one. What's this one look like? So that one will give it kind of a blue frost look. Kind of neat. But that's all the stuff that's in-game. If you guys enjoyed this video and would like this truck, I'm going to put the link for it in the description, and I'll probably upload it to Patreon or some, something along those lines. It's just a basic truck. Hope you enjoy it. Um, hit that like button, guys, and subscribe if you want to come back for more tutorials. Leave a comment below. I'm reaching out. What mod and tutorials you guys want? What are you struggling with? Please leave me a comment below. I really, 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 really encourage you. I don't know if you guys have been noticing while I'm on land, uh, I go out fishing for like 10 days at a time. So while I'm on land, I'm trying really hard to help you guys as best I can and replying to comments as fast as I can. So make sure to leave me a comment, even if it's just because you like the video. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks, guys, and enjoy the rest of your day. There might be a couple more tutorials out today. I don't know yet, but we'll see. Later. Girl, you feel the